guys welcome back to keeping up with china today we're back with another video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back um in today's video i'm going to show you guys an updated wash day routine um so yeah make sure that you like comment and subscribe to this channel so right now i'm just showing you guys my my um locks and also my um scalps the back is mostly you know it's not it's not as dirty as the front the front of my hair like the front and also the crown of my hair is mostly where it itched the most and that's where i get most of the den dentrum and also all the flakes and stuff like that So now before we get started, I'm going to just um, go through my hair and just separate my hair because a lot of the time they, they, they get tangled with each other. So I just go through my hair and just detangle them. And also you guys, um, this was my the like a post two and a half weeks of my of the pipe cleaner curls that I did. And you guys, they're, they're still looking pretty decent, but I know it was time for me to wash my hair. So I, was, I just decided to wash my hair, but if they were not as dirty, I probably would have, would have left my hair for another week or so because they were still really cute, the pipe cleaner curls. Now I'm taking my bottle and I'm going to be mixing the ACV, the apple cider vinegar with some water and I am going to apply that all over my scalp so I so the dendrums and the flakes can loosen up so that it'll be easier um, when I'm washing it out it'll be easier for for them to you know wash out you actually don't need that much I honestly um, use too much I fill up the bottle a little bit too much because I honestly did not even use half of that I ended up just throwing throwing away the rest but I would say just use just a little bit apply it thoroughly and your um, throughout your roots and your scalp massage them so that the, the flakiness and the uh, dendrums can loosen up so that you can wash them So now I'm taking my uh, Dr. Browner's peppermint soap. That's what I uh, use for my first two. I do a total of three three shampoos. Um, so the first two shampoos I use the Dr. Browner's. Um, the one that, that I have now is already diluted. I'm just going to um, apply my applicator bottle and I'm going to section my hair. I think sectioning my hair was probably the best thing um, I did so that I can focus in one area of my hair at a time i realized when i did all my hair all at the same time i feel like i wasn't really cleaning i wasn't really cleaning it cleaning it enough like it wasn't getting as clean i feel like sex sectioning them it helps you to like you know really get into that you know into that section you focus solely and on that section and massaging it and you know cleaning it Now I'm going into the se second section of my hair. The first section is just sitting there. I am focusing only on that second section section to make sure that you know I'm cleaning it very thoroughly. And right now I'm just focusing on my scalps. Later on, on my like second and third 
wash i will be you know washing out the 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 body of my locks but right now i'm really just fo focusing solely on my roots and my scalp If you guys saw the video that I made with me washing out my red hair clay paint thing, whatever you call it, um, I did use a new um, shampoo. It was like a tea tree shampoo. Um, you guys know tea tree is very good for, for dry scalp and itchy scalp. So um, it really, you know, tangles and it, it makes your hair feel so, so clean. So I, I used that shampoo for my third um, wash. Now I am applying the conditioner. My camera kind of, I don't know, it wasn't really working. <laughs> so I had already applied it off camera. So um, yeah, and right now I'm just showing you guys the, after I'm done with the conditioning part, I'm going to, I'm going to use the rice water rinse to, to just finishing it off. You guys know, I did a, a, did a previous video of the benefits of rice water and why i do it and stuff so if you guys are interested you guys can also go and watch that video um but yeah right now i'm just washing out the conditioner on my hair and then i will i will do the rice water in my hair and then i'll leave it for for like 10 15 minutes and then i will wash it out All right, you guys, so I am all done with washing my hair. You guys, when I tell you my hair is super, super clean, all these little white stuff are just the water because I haven't dried it, thoroughly dried it yet. Um, not in my bathroom, so I'm gonna go in my room and um, and dry it out using, um, I'm just gonna get like a, a t-shirt and wrap my head around and then I'm going to retwist my hair. So this is basically it. And then next I go in with some oil in my hair so that, you know, kind of lost a lot of moisture in the washing process. And you know, so this kind of just replenished my hair, replenish the moisture and stuff. So. This is just a mixture of my mom's oil. She always has all these good mixture of oils so i just always use her oils you guys um yeah you guys so that is about it you guys after this i'm gonna go straight to retwisting my hair um and i'm going to use the i'm not sure what method yet i don't, i think they could think i think i'm gonna use the um the rubber band method again because i really do love the rubber band method it gives me that slick along look and also it's fast it's quick it's easy so i'm gonna use that method because i've been wearing my hair curly for a while so yeah um that's about it you guys my hair it looks like every time i wash it, it i feel like it's it's grown more and more let me show you guys the the back this side the back this side and then yeah that's it uh, I'm gonna style it. I'll probably record the styling. I'm not really sure yet, but that's about it you guys This is what I do in my wash day my new updated wash day. Um, I'll see you guys on my next video Don't forget to like comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye